So, Danny, having a Waterlooville friendly, fans are back. How does that feel? Yeah, it was brilliant. You know, it's such a privilege to be here. Just so thankful to Haven for inviting us. We, we really enjoyed the facilities and the game. Paul Doswell put a brilliant squad together. I thought you guys scored two fantastic goals first half and were, were excellent in, your, in, in the first half performance in particular. Um, it's brilliant to see the supporters, you know, for the last 18 months we've just missed them so much. You know, I love football, but football hasn't been the same without the emotion and the passion that the supporters bring. So it was great to see the Portsmouth supporters and the Haven and Waterlooville supporters today. And uh, I thought it was, a, it was a really competitive game. You mentioned there about it being competitive. It was, it was classified as a friendly, but it didn't seem like it on the pitch. No, I thought it was um, a really good game. We really enjoyed it. It was, it was excellent for us. We're two weeks into our pre-season now, so I think that's 70 kilometres into the into the group in terms of their their load. Um, I thought first half we didn't quite play with the energy or the intensity or the enthusiasm that we would have liked. Second half, I thought we were much better, played with much more athleticism and power, and sped our play up. Um, so so. No, the, the second half was better than the first half for us, but I was really impressed with you guys. I know Paul does well from old. He, he's, um, he's a very intelligent manager. He always has teams that are at the top of the division, um, and I think he's put a really good group together. And uh, I wish you all the very best for, for what is to come. Thank you. And do you think the changes in the second half really tipped it in your favour in terms of the balance of the game? I, I don't know. Do you know, for us, we played QPR on Wednesday. It was probably roles reversal. The first half team played really well and we beat a strong QPR team 1-0 in the first half. And then the second half group, a lot of new relationships and partnerships found it more difficult, whereas today it was the other way around. And yeah, the second half team, I just thought we played with real athleticism and power. And obviously, first half, we didn't quite know your new team yourselves, a lot of new personal we didn't quite know the the formation or the way that you were going to play at half time we'd obviously seen 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 you for 45 minutes we we probably were able to give the second half team a bit more bit more help than the first half team but but now I was pleased with with a lot what, of what I saw in the second half and I, I just thought it was a really good game and like I said it's a privilege to be here and this is important a relationship for, for for both of us but for your football club and for our football club um, and I just think that we can we can re really work together and, and, and help the, the community of, of, of Portsmouth um, and, and help both football teams. How important do you think this relationship between having and Louisville and a club like Portsmouth is in terms of Portsmouth women play here? Absolutely. And off, off the field as well? Yeah, well, no, we're so thankful for, for you allowing us to play, to, to allow us to play the women's games at such a fantastic stadium. Um, the women's team are really important to us um, and we're really proud of them. Um, and, and also for us, you know, it's always best relationships are always give and take, aren't they? They're always two way. And I think we. Um, you know, we, we hope to be able to produce some young players that will eventually need some first team experience and playing at senior football and if we think that they're good enough, because I know how good they have to be to play at Conference South level, having lived it myself, then we will we will we will give the you know we'll we'll pass those players on to you and I think then as a consequence we then are able to to get them to play at a local team and see them ourselves and see them develop and hopefully they'll help your team as well. So yeah like I said you know I think it's an important relationship. I've already spoken to Paul about maybe using this facility if we get into any trouble in the winter with our training pitches um, and you know he's been he's been really receptive to that. So um, yeah it's it's, it's, a, it's an important relationship. It's great to see maybe 3,000 supporters here today, which hopefully will help you guys going forward. And yeah, I think on the whole, it's been a, been a really positive day. Perfect, Danny. Good luck for the season. Pleasure. Thank you very much.